Since today's lesson is on complementary and supplementary angles, we'll start with some key vocabulary. And our first vocabulary word is complementary angles. Those are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. I have two sets of complementary angles here. The first set I can tell is complementary because I can tell what their angle measures are, and 30 plus 60 equals 90. My second set of angles I can tell is complementary because they're adjacent angles and they form a 90 degree angle because I can tell I have a right angle symbol right there. Our second vocabulary word is supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. The first set of angles I can tell is supplementary because 135 plus 45 is 180. And my second set of angles I can tell is supplementary because they're adjacent angles and they form a straight line. So they form a 180 degree angle in total. Let's go ahead and classify some angles. So my first set of angles, I have a 70 degree and a 110 degree angle. So 70 plus 110 degrees is 180 degrees. That means these two angles are supplementary. My second set of angles are 41 degrees and 49 degrees. 41 plus 49 is 90 degrees. That means those two angles are complementary. And my third set of angles is 128 degrees and 62 degrees. 128 plus 62 is 190 degrees. So this pair of angle is neither complementary nor supplementary. Let's take a look at what we know about complementary and supplementary angles and see if we can solve for x. So this set of angles I can tell is complementary because they add to 90 degrees. So we can classify these as complementary. And because we know that complementary angles add to 90 degrees, I can write an equation where 4x plus 36 equals 90. And I'll subtract 36 from both sides and get 4x equals 54. And then I'll divide by 4 on both sides and get x equals 13.5. For my second set of angles, I can tell that they're supplementary angles because they add to 180 degrees. So I can write an equation where x plus x minus 4 equals 180. Now I can combine my like terms. That gives me 2x minus 4 equals 180. I'll go ahead and solve my two-step equation. Add 4 to both sides. I get 2x equals 184. Then I'll divide by 2 on both sides and get x equals 92. For our last example, um, you don't have the tools to do this at home, so you're just going to take notes on how to do it, then you'll practice in class. So we're going to draw a pair of supplementary angles so that one angle has a measure of 60 degrees. So step one is to use a protractor to draw a 60 degree angle. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. And then I'm going to use my protractor, move it down here so that the very center of the protractor is right on that line. Then I'm going to make a dot at 60 degrees. Mrs. Santini, please dial 4802. Mrs. Santini, dial 4802. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 degrees is right up here. Remember that when you use a protractor, there are two different numbers, both 60 and 120. That's telling us from this angle, we have 120 degrees from this side. And from this side going up, 
we have 60 degrees. Okay, so I have my line and I have my dot. Now you're going to use a straight edge to connect. This is just to create that first angle. Whoops. my line here, so I've got a straight one. You're using a straight edge. I'm using this drawing tool. Okay. So there's my 60 degree angle. And then step two is to, is to extend one of the sides to form a line. So I could extend this line down or this line over. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this line over since that's where I have the space. You're going to use your straight edge to extend the line. I'm just showing how to extend it on the technology here. So here we have a pair of supplementary angles, 60 degree angle, and then this one would have to be 120 degrees so that they add to 180. All right, that's it. Go ahead and try a few on your own, and I will see you soon.